Today's video is going to be about my journey in a way um, with my previous company, why I chose to leave them, and kind of where I'm sitting now two months later with my new company. So I was previously with Unique for 10 months and I built a team of 11 girls. Um, I also ended up hitting blue status before I ended up deciding to leave. Um, it was great. It was my first direct sales company. It was something I was so excited about. I've always been passionate about makeup um, since I was a little girl. I ended up finding um, a lot of joy in direct sales and um, instantly makeup. So through my journey with Unique, I learned a lot. Um, I was previously a manager for the last like 10, 11 years. So I have that leadership kind of instilled in me. I love watching people grow. I love showing um, showing product to people and something that helps them feel good about themselves or helps them change in a way um, that makes them very excited. So I loved that about what I did. Um, the makeup, learning more and more about their brand um, was exciting and buying a bunch of new stuff was also exciting. Gotta love having a discount. Um, and then things all of a sudden started to, went to go south for me. Um, and it wasn't that I wasn't making a bunch of sales because I was doing very well. I had a great team um, that was under me and we really conquered a lot together. But then there were things that I just had a hard time with. The first thing that striked me was how hard it was for the comp plan. Um, it looks very good on paper at first, once you get to see or know other comp plans, then you kind of can um, compare. It was impossible to get a bonus. You cannot get a bonus unless if somebody else is making money underneath you. There were several months that I was bringing in $3,000 plus by myself and never took home a bonus because somebody underneath me wasn't able to make that. And it's not their fault. Um, everyone has a different network. Everyone sells differently. Um, I work very hard at this on my time off um, for the certain amount of time that I do. But it was very hard for me to get a bonus without having somebody underneath me rank. If I didn't rank, that means that the people underneath me didn't rank. And that was something that was really, really hard for me. It was hard because I watched them work extremely hard and they didn't get to the level they wanted to. Or they would work so hard and be so close and couldn't make it or they were their own team and nobody signed up underneath them so they never seen a bonus and I hated that I absolutely hated that but this is my first direct sales company I didn't know any different um, and I didn't want to sell anything different I really liked what I did I really just tried to fight harder and harder and harder and then at a point I just couldn't because of the makeup so the comp sale was one thing but the makeup was another. The mascara failed consistently and I stopped selling it. Um, if somebody wanted to order it and they were reordering it, I let them. I mean, I'm not going to tell them no. Um, but it was a really bad piece of product. And the company, from the time that I was there to the, even now, they keep telling the customers and the um, presenters that it's being worked on, it's being fixed, and it's not. Um, nothing's ever changed about it. And it was really heartbreaking because that was their main product. And I understand that companies go through trial and tribulations. Like, you're, you know, you definitely are going to have some some bumps along the way. But I just couldn't stand behind products that keep falling, falling apart. Um, that was one of them. And the lip liners, they won't stay in the tubes, and it's $15 for a lip liner. So it was very hard for me to stand behind this product that constantly failed me, failed my customers, and I was supposed to stand behind it saying how great it was. Um, I, I, and I couldn't do it anymore. But I stuck to it and slowly just pulled out of the, the items that I, I didn't believe in anymore. I just pulled away from those, and I just didn't push them. But then I was on Facebook one night, like we all do, right? And I was watching a video, um, and it ended up being of this girl who is with this brand new company named Mayel, and I, I didn't even know how to say the name at first. I was like, is it Millie? It's Mayel. And um, I absolutely loved her, her energy, and 
I'm an investigator. Let's get that straight. So if you are cheating on somebody, I will find out. But I also investigate in anything I do. If I'm going to get a new job, I look into it. And um, if you are looking for a different company, always look into it. Get everything before you you jump the gun, whether it's direct sales, whether it's a brand new job. Always want to know what you're getting yourself into. So that's what I did. I did a lot of digging and research as much as I could. And then I eventually decided just to ask my own questions. I reached out to the mentor who I seen on um, on Facebook and I asked her everything. I think I drilled her like a drill sergeant. Um, and she was honest. She was open. And I love that about her. Um, and the more and more I found out, the more and more I realized I was with the wrong company. I gave myself about a month to think it over and I was nervous about how I was going to be treated when I left. I reached out to my upline and I just wrote them, the three girls that I was very close to, but um, I just wrote them and I had said, this is something that I'm looking into. I don't want you guys to be in the dark on it um, and I might not decide to leave at all, but I just needed kind of just to see how the feedback would be. Two of them commented back and were completely supportive and the other girl, she didn't say anything to me and hasn't said anything to me since, which I think is just, it's sad because we built a relationship um, and at the end of the day, I, I helped you make money too doing my job and I think that um, it, it sucks and it's sad that once you leave a company, if anybody would be willing to treat you that way. As a manager, I can tell you, if you need to go find something for you, do it. If you need to um, do something that maybe people don't agree with, oh well, you have to try it. So I decided to go ahead and leave. It took me probably another two weeks to join and tell my team. That was the next hardest step. These girls didn't know me before unique. And I never wanted them to feel like I let them down. But like I said before, when you build a team, you um, you win their trust and um, their friendship. One of the hardest parts to stay with Unique was watching my people constantly fail and it wasn't their fault. Um, and when I seen the comp plan with Mayel, everything changed. They were the first people that I thought about. Now, granted, um, well, only one girl decided to stop with Unique previous before this, but and then she came it is now on my team with Mayel, but everyone else decided to stay, um, and which is fine. I encourage them that they need to do the same thing, what makes them happy. And I know that they invested a lot into the company, um, and I did too, but I knew that I couldn't invest anymore. No more of my time, no more of my money, and I couldn't constantly keep my customers doing that. And with Mayel, the brand is completely different. Um, the quality of the brand, how it's being manufactured, the people who's running the business behind it and, and their beliefs, they're not trying to make a quick buck. They're not putting out or going to put out crappy product that's going to fall apart on the customer and have to let us be the face of it. There is so much behind this brand and I could go on for days, especially now that I've been with them for, for two months, but we are in pre-launch and we... I can't even describe how much more successful that I am in my knowledge about direct sales. We have one of the top of the line training uh, modules and mentors at Mari Smith. She is the queen of Facebook. You get this training immediately. They do a conference call every single month and they upload that audio onto your back office. So if you can't be on the conference call, you can hear it. They're constantly updating us about product um, new product that's coming out. We're going to release product every single month. We don't have to wait a six month span. Everything is going to be so up to date and in with the times, all the colors, um, and why we're doing things. I mean, they just explain so much that no other company, to my knowledge, has done this before. And I just think that me leaving Unique was the best decision I could have made. Not just coming on my own. To stand behind a brand that I believed in but did not do do right by their customers or their presenters is where I realize now I went wrong. I now have 
a bigger team in the two months that I've been with Mayel than the 10 months I was with Unique. I am in a higher ranking today than I was in Unique. And I've been with the company for two months and we have no product in hand to show. I have yet to touch any physical product. I have more points towards our incentive trip and our fast track than I ever did with Unique. I was successful, like I said, I was blue status with Unique. So if that doesn't kind of tell you the opportunity that you have to, you know, with Myel, then I don't know. It is nuts. And everyone, like I said, is going to sell different. Everyone's going to be a different type of mentor with Myel. But if you are with a company that you've questioned, then you have to ask yourself, is it worth staying? Is it worth lying to yourself or lying to your customers? It's not. You're going to lose more customers, especially if you decide to go somewhere else. The longer that you stay with the company that you question or are unsure about, and that is something that I wish I would have done previous. Before even knowing about Myel, Myel was not a shiny object. It just so happened to be the right thing at the right time for me to go. So in all, if, um, if you want to know more about Myel, or if you are with a different direct sales company, like I said, and you're looking to get out and you have questions about either how to, the best way to part or um, how you can join my L, I would love to answer any of your questions. Please comment or PM me. Feel free to add me on Facebook or Instagram and I will follow up with you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and you really learned from um, this, this video and my message. I will talk to you soon.